Hey YouTube, Kira Twig here, bringing you all an update to my Lyra Lusk Yu-Gi-Oh! deck profile for August 2024. Wanted to update the Lyra Lusk deck, was slowly going through the different, you know, Yuzu Dimension characters for the Yu-Gi-Oh! Arc 5 series. We did the Win Witches a little while ago. I figured we'd, you know, go right down the line with Lyra Lusks being the next deck. And then we'll see, maybe we'll do Luna Lights before Melodia, since we did just have a recent update to Melodious on the channel with the release of Legacy of Destruction, but wanted to update what I would do with some of the, you know, numbers that I ran for the Lyrilusk deck, and as always, sticking to as pure of a build as I possibly could for the video. So let's go ahead and get started with the deck profile. So we'll go ahead and start off with the main deck monsters. For the Lyralusk monsters, we're running three copies of Lyralusk, Cobalt Sparrow. If this card's special summon, you can add one level one Wing Beast monster from your deck to your hand. You can use this effect of Cobalt Sparrow once per turn, and a Wind Exceeds monster that was summoned using this card gains this effect of your opponent kind of target it with card effect. So very useful since the main play we have in the deck is to summon out the different Wind Exceeds monsters we run in the extra deck, and the added search power being able to add when it's special summon one level wing beast monster uh, from our deck to our hand means we can even add targets like DD Crow to our hand, a very valid hand trap add off of this card, making it a very useful one to be able to search out and then disrupt our opponent's graveyard. We're also running three copies of Lyralusk Sapphire Swallow. If you control a wing beast monster, you can special summon both this card and one level wing beast one monster from your hand. You can only use this effect of Sapphire Swallow once per turn. A win exceeds that was summoned using this card, gains the effect of its if it's exceeds summon, you can target one Lyralusk monster in your graveyard, attach it to this card as material. So added power to get more and more exceeds materials on one of your Lyralusk exceeds these monsters, along with three copies of Lyralusk Turquoise Warbler. Now, the Lyralusk monsters all just need that consistency for numbers to be able to have the multiples in your hand for you to use. If you control no monsters, you can special summon this card from your hand. If it's special summon from the hand, you can special summon one Lyralusk monster from your hand or graveyard. You can use this effect of Turquoise Warbler once per turn, making it very, very easy for you to summon out your Cobalt Sparrow to the field also, because then you'll want that search off of this card. But just having so many different answers in the deck to be able to summon out this monster means you almost have a guaranteed search to search out another additional level one Lyra Lusk or level one Wing Beast Monster. And also three copies of Lyra Lusk Barrel Canary. If this card's in your hand, you can target one Lyra Lusk monster in your graveyard, special summon both this card and that monster, and also you can have special summon from the extract for the rest of this turn, except for Xyz monsters. You can use this effect of Barrel Canary once per turn. A win Xyz monster that was summoned using this card on the field as material gains the effect. If this card it gains 200 attack, also its control cannot switch. A very interesting point for the control cannot switch. I guess it takes away a potential triple tactics talent target, but also just being the additional attack boost for your Lyra Lusk monster monster also for that overlay unit. And I do want to, you know, potentially run three copies of Celestine Wagtail. Sadly, only had the one. I have two Kinkabio as a placeholder for the other two copies of Celestine Wagtail. If this card's special summon, you can add one Lyra Lusk Spell or Trap from your deck to your hand. If this card's in your graveyard, you can target one Lyra Lusk Exceeds monster you control. Attach this card to his material. So you have an Exceeds attach option, but also a search for a Lyra Lusk Spell or Trap, which we run a pretty good variety of in the deck as well to be able to rely on for our plays. And then for the hand and trap spots, three copies of DD Crow and three copies of Ash Blossom and Joy Spring. The DD Crows are a must just with how easily searchable they are in the deck. And as I said, easy disruption power. They're not a once per turn, so if you have one in your hand already and you search an additional copy, that's two disruptions for your opponent's graveyard, which can definitely take away from a lot of plays they may try to do. And then the Ash Blossoms are just the standard search prevention support. And for the spells, running three copies of Lyra Lusk Bird Call. Take one Lyra Lusk monster from your deck and either add to your hand or send it to the graveyard. Then you can special summon one Lyra Lusk monster with a different name from your hand. You can only use this effect of Bird Call once per turn, having more special summon resources with this card, giving you setup for that potential Lyra Lusk monster in your graveyard, and then being able to have that special summon of another Lyra Lusk monster for your play, because then you could just go for the special summon of Turquoise Warbler from your hand as well, and then and be able to special summon the one from your graveyard as well, since Turquoise Warbler just says you have to have special summon it from the hand. It doesn't have to be special summoned off of its own card effect to be able to make use of it. 
We're also running three copies of Swallow's Cowry. You tribute one Wing Beast monster in your hand or face on the field to add one Wing Beast monster from your deck to your hand with the same level as the tributed monster had. You can activate one Swallow's Cowry per turn. This was a card released in Phantom Nightmare, and I think it's an immensely powerful help for the deck. Being able to tribute a Wing Beast monster from your hand as well to add a different one gives you the graveyard setup of a Learless monster while searching out the particular one you may need as well with the same level as that tributed monster. So even it can be an additional tribute to then add one from the same level. It could potentially be another DD Crow search as well if need be. And we're also running two copies of Kahuyori Getsu. Now, this is a potential card that could be swapped out for a Wing Requital, which is the draw card for the Wing Beast Monsters support in this deck. If you don't have Wing Requital, you can always put Kahuyori Getsu as the spot holder, which is what I'm doing in this deck as well. Use Special Summon 1 level 4, lower Fairy, Spellcaster, Wing Beast, or Beast Warrior Monster from your hand. If you do equip it with this card, then you can return all Dragon Monsters on the field to the hand. And during the end phase, if this card's in the graveyard because it was sent there from the Spell and Trap card, on this turn while face up you can add one polymerization spell fusion spell or fusion parasite from your deck to your hand which is very useful because we do run one of those targets to be able to go into our lyra lusk fusion monster lyra lusk independent nightingale also and I also run for some of the one of spots in the deck. The one Lyralusk Bird Strike. If you control a Lyralusk monster, negate the effects of all face of monsters your opponent currently controls till the end of this turn. You go and activate one Bird Strike per turn, but it's also searchable with our um, Celestine Wagtail. So that's why we only run the one copy, one for one, because it can search out basically the entire main deck. And the one Instant Fusion, as I spoke of before, it's searchable with the Kahayori Yetsu. And then being able to summon out an additional target for our Lyralusk monster monsters in the form of Independent Nightingale. And then lastly for the spells, three copies of Forbidden Droplet, just another card I really do like with just all the resources we can swarm on the field, have the additional ones in our hand, and stop our opponent's card effects while also reducing their monster's attack and having them not be able to respond depending on what we discard. For the traps, I run two copies of Lyralusk Phantom Feathers. You target one Lyralusk monster you control. The attack of all monsters your opponent currently control become that monster's current attack. Also, their levels and ranks become one. When a opponent's monster declares an attack on your Lyralusk monster, you can banish this card from your graveyard. Your monster's attack becomes that opponent's monster's attack until the end of this turn. Now, the big play with this is obviously for the fact that you have Lyralusk monsters that cannot be uh, able to be destroyed by battle for their own uh, card effects, like our Lyralusk Assembled Nightingale. And this another card you could potentially send off of Forbidden Droplet to set up in the graveyard also. And then lastly for the traps, three copies of Harpy's Feather Store. If you control a Wing Wind Beast monster until the end of this turn, you get any monster effects your opponent activates. If you control a Harpy monster, you get the search for the Feather Duster, but we're just running this for the additional monster effect negation that it can provide for your opponent on their turn. And that's it for the main deck. We'll now move on to the extra deck. I run two copies of Lyra Lusk Ensemble Blue Robin. It gains 500 attack for each material attached to it. If your opponent would special summon a monster, except during the damage step, you can detach one material from this card, then target one of those special summon monsters, return it to the hand. And then also, if this card in your possession is sent to the graveyard by an opponent's card effect, you can target one other Lyra Lusk monster in your graveyard and add to your hand. It doesn't have to be just a card effect. It can be a card, but still having recycle power to then be able to go into a future XC summon is why I really do like this special summon prevention type of card. The more XC materials you add, on it, the higher its attack will also become. We're also running three copies of Lyra Lusk Assembled Nightingale, needing two or more, just like the previous Xyz monster, which is a big thing with these cards. You can overlay as many different Lyra Lusk monsters to be able to summon them, or just the generic level one monsters. It gains 200 attack for each material attached to it. This card can attack directly, and while this card has material, it can attack a number of times each battle phase up to the number of materials attached to it. So, more attacks as well with this card, and once per turn quick effect, you can detach one material from this card till the end of this turn. Lyra Lusk monsters you control cannot be destroyed by battle or card effects, and also you take no battle damage, which is good for the attack equal power that we do with our cards as well, to then be able to swing with this Lear Lust monster and destroy our opponent's monsters with no problem. And also the two copies of Lear Lusk Recital Starling. This card, if it succeeds summon, you can target one face of monster in the field against 300 attack and defense for each material attached to this card. And once per turn, you can detach one of this card to add one level one wing beast monster from your deck to your hand. Another DD Crow search, which is really, really awesome. And all battle damage you take from battles involving this succeeds summon card is also in 
inflicted to your opponent. So more of that attack damage that this card can also provide against your opponent. With the rest of our Xyz monsters being the one copy of Sylvan Princess Sprite, the one Kinkanani Gashi Fucho, which is another Wing Beast monster to be able to potentially overlay into, the one Utopia Roots, and then the one Zeus to finish off our Xyz monsters. For the fusions, for the instant fusion target that I mentioned before, the one copy of Lyra Lusk, Independent Nightingale. If it's fusion summoned using an Xyz monster on the field as fusion material, whose original name is Lyra Lusk, you can increase this card's level by that number of Xyz monster. This card gains times 500. It's unaffected by other card effects, but the main play is just having an additional Lyra Lusk target to be able to summon out to use for another overlay play. With the rest of our extra deck being the one copy of Relinquish Anima, the one Nightmare Unicorn, and the one Access Code Talker. And then as for some of the go-to plays in the deck, the big one is the Xyz setup. Having two of your different Lyra Lust monsters, I would say, is the bigger play for you to use. But depending on which ones you have, if you have cards like Turquoise Warbler and your Cobalt Sparrow, all the better because you have control no monsters. So you could special summon out your Turquoise Warbler. And then with this card, special summon one Lyra Lust monster from your hand or graveyard. So you can then summon out Cobalt Sparrow to the field as well. And then add one Wing Beast monster from your deck to your hand. So then with this card, you can either go for your additional search you can add to extend your plays your barrel canary to your hand or you can add once again your hand trap spot but for the sake of the play we'll add the barrel canary because then we'll go for the overlay of our two monsters to then be able to summon out our Lyra Lusk recital starling and then with this card being able to have the attack cane boost but also being able to detach one material from this card add one level one wing beast monster from our deck to our hand so then with this card you can have the search for the same mentioned DD Crow that I had before and then being able to use the Barrel Canary we added off of the previous search to target the Cobalt Sparrow to summon both it and this card onto the field and then be able to go into another Xyz play on the field as well so then we have that Xyz summon of another Lyra Lust monster on the field with that with two cards we've set up that an additional hand trap in our hand and two Xyz monsters one that can stop a potential special summon with its detach also but that is it for the deck profile. I hope you all enjoyed. Like I said, we're slowly going through and updating all of the Yuzu Dimension counterparts decks. We have Wind Witch and Lyra Lust done for the recent updates. And like I said, we've done Melodious recently, so I think the next one we'll focus on will be Lunalite, so look forward to it. And as always, until next time, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and Kira Twig out.